This is Charlie from the Robot Inventor set, and I want to take a couple of minutes to show you how the high five activity teaches you how to make your hub run multiple programs at once. Charlie's high five task in the Robot Inventor set is really cool. The code has two programs running simultaneously and then chooses one for the robot to do based on your actions. To activate Charlie in this program, you have to put your hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor. Charlie will say high five, high five prints across the screen, and then he puts up his arm and waits for a high five. If you give him the high five, he says yippee and puts his hand down and exits the program. However, if you leave him hanging, after a few seconds he puts his hand down makes the sad sound in the sad face, and backs away from you. This program may look like a lot at first, but when you break it down, it's pretty straightforward. The first part is just the startup sequence. The center light is turned off, the hub is told it's sitting on its right-hand side, and then the blinking animation starts. Charlie goes through the calibration sequence where his arms go up and down, the movement motors are set, and then the ultrasonic sensor lights light up. And then the robot waits for you to put your hand in front of the sensor to go to the next part of the program. Once you put your hand in front of the sensor, the high five animation prints across the screen. He makes the high five sound and puts his arm up and then waits for the high five. And then this next command right here, the broadcast high five, is where Charlie begins to run two stacks at once because he will continue to run this program, he starts the blinking, and then goes to this wait until the F speed is less than negative 10. But at the same time, this when I receive high five event is activated, and he goes to this wait for five seconds as well. With two waits running at the same time, Charlie is waiting for whichever exit condition occurs first. The main stack has this block that says wait until F's motor speed gets lower than negative 10, which happens when you bump his arm for the high five and move the arm backwards a little bit. You'll see the next command says stop other stacks, and this causes the program to shut down this when I receive stack, and then just finish out this stack with the happy animation, the yippee sound, and then his arm goes down and the program exits. However, if Five seconds goes by and you haven't bumped Charlie's hand yet. The next command here is a stop other stacks, which will shut down the main stack and Charlie will turn on the sad face, make the sad sound, put his arm down and then back away from you. And then this program shuts down. But once the activity shows you that you can have multiple stacks running at one time, your options for what you can do with the hub multiply. This is a program I call Running Charlie, where Charlie goes on a little run. But to make this program work, Charlie has to run three stacks at once. So let's take a look at the program. Over here is my startup sequence. I set up all my basic startup commands. I set the movement motors and movement speed. I set the speeds for the left and right arm. And then I have both arms go to position zero. I set the center light to black, tell the hub that it's sitting on its right hand side, and start the happy animation. And now Charlie's ready to go on his run. To make Charlie look like he's running, the robot has to be doing three things at once. The left and right arms must be going up and down opposite of each other. When the right arm is up, the left arm has to be down and vice versa. And at the same time, he must be moving forward. So he'll be running four motors at once two for the wheels, and then one for each arm. Now that I realize the broadcast command allows the hub to do more than one thing at a time, I've set the program up like this. When I tap the hub, the robot will wait for a couple of seconds. Then we'll broadcast the right arm, broadcast the left arm, and start moving straight. And so all three of these things will start happening simultaneously. The right arm will start by going up to position 265, and then down to position 50. The left arm starts by going down to position 300 and then up to position 104. You'll see that I've got weights in both of these programs and that's to sync the arms together because the right arm will not start back up until the left arm reaches the top and the left arm will not start back down until the right arm gets all the way down to the bottom.
Meanwhile, the robot will start moving forward and continue to move forward until he gets about 10 centimeters from the wall. And then he'll stop moving and exit the program completely. Now that you see how you can use the broadcast command to have your robot do multiple operations at one time, I hope this inspires you to come up with some more creative ways to use your Lego hub.